Carol, thank you for joining. Uh, how did you spend your rest day? Yeah, I mean, I decided to just study chess uh, rather than playing Title Tuesday or do anything of, of that sort. Um, and it clearly paid off as I got something that I, that I had looked at quite a bit yesterday. And um, that's all's well that ends well. Do you think that was the reason why uh, your opponent, Sasha, did not uh, have his chance because he played yesterday? Oh, he did play? Yeah. Oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't even look, so I, I had no idea. Um, no, I mean, I think... Uh, Ironically, I think Sasha's choice was actually correct what he did because seeing that Yasipenko won his game against Bakro, uh, a draw would not have been, I don't think a draw would have been enough for him going into tomorrow. So I think he, he made the right choice objectively, all, all, things, uh, all things being equal. Of course, uh, you know, I, I ended up winning the game. But yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, there's, there's this thing called pride and, you know, an, an extra video or an extra stream, like, I mean, means very little in the bigger scheme of things. Who, who really cares uh, when you have a chance to put together a good result? So. I think, I mean, I p had my priorities correct, and uh, I mean, we'll see, see what happens tomorrow. At any rate, though, it's been a, it's been a success regardless, I will say that. Yesterday, uh, Yuri Lvovich Everbach turned uh, 100 years old. Imagining we are in 2087, mm -hmm. you get 100 years old. Do you think Magnus or Gary or you yourself would still be the GOAT? Um, I mean, I... I, I think I've said it before, I think Magnus is probably going to be the greatest player ever, and I think in large part that's because the way I see it, I think, uh, I think everybody now is so well prepared with computers that I find it hard to believe that uh, anyone will have as big of a margin over, say, Magnus or anyone else uh, 20, 30 years in the future. I mean, personally, I don't think we'll be playing chess professionally, you know, at least not standard chess uh, in, in 20 years. So I think that answers, answers the question. Do you see the arrows uh, when playing over the board? Um, no, not at all, actually. I mean, I'm just, I just have a completely different mindset when I'm playing. I mean, the, the only thing is that sometimes when I see some of the other games, I'm a little bit confused by some moves, and I, I'm sometimes talking to myself, but like in my own games, it's just, uh, I mean, I, I played chess for 20 plus years professionally before, uh, before I was streaming, so I think I, I know how to, you know, go from one mode to another. What feelings do you express towards your opponent when you lose a game? Um, well, I mean, I think uh, nobody's happy, obviously, but to be, to be, be fair, and this not to jinx myself, I haven't, I mean, I haven't lost a game since I lost to, I mean, was it Topolov, maybe? I, I mean, I guess I lost some games in, uh, in the World Rapid in, in 2019 to Ali Rez and so forth, but I haven't lost a, a game in a very long time, so um, we'll see how I react uh, uh, in the future when I lose a game, but I mean, you, you, just, you, you just try to take it in stride, and I think now for me, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's actually kind of ironic also that, um, you know, I won this game. There were, in the last two cycles, I mean, Sasha basically ruined my, my chances for uh, qualifying for the candidates. He, he ruined them in 2017 in the Sharjah Fede Grand Prix when I had this Nidorf and I, I missed a win late in the fifth hour and we drew that game and then he ended up winning the tournament. And then also on the Moscow Grand Prix in 2019 when I lost the match to him. So, I mean, it's kind of ironic that the, the two times that I would have given anything to win and I really cared, uh, I, I lost, and, and now when there's basically, it doesn't matter at all to me, I, I win the game, and Sasha, of course, uh, he has his chances uh, ruined for qualifying, so it's, it's kind of funny, I mean, to see the way that things, things play out over, over time. And when you lose a game? Oh, when you, when you win a game? Um, I mean, it's nice to win games. I mean, more than anything, it's just nice to prove prove to people that, that there really is no difference. I mean, online chess is still the same as over the board. Um, and I mean, there's some people who try to say it wasn't, but all, all I would say to that is just look at who won most of those online tournaments. It was this guy called Magnus, and he seems to be pretty decent um, at over-the-board chess, too. So I'm, I don't think it's really that surprising, but I do think perhaps my opponents, um, they're feeling a lot more pressure than I am, and especially tomorrow. I mean, I think Andre has, has all the pressure. I mean, I could win the game, draw the game, lose the game. It doesn't really change much for me. So it's just I just play and have fun. All right, but is there an opponent who to lose against is the most painful for you. Yeah, I mean, obviously, losing to Magnus is always annoying. But having said that, I mean, usually when I lose to Magnus, it's not like there are a lot of chances. So, um, if there's some, who have I lost to a few times that I should not have lost to from like better positions? I mean, I want to say someone like uh, someone like Lenny, because I can think of at least like two or three games, classical and rapid, where I've lost him and I should not have lost. So maybe Lenny. He's the first name that pops in my head off, offhand. And uh, the most uh, pleasant to win against? Um, I mean, I I Sasha? don't know. I mean, no, definitely not Sasha. <laughs> um, maybe I mean maybe Fabiano, maybe Fabiano, maybe Anish. I mean, I haven't played them much in recent times, but maybe one of those two.
All right. What advice would you give me if I was trying to uh, win an adoption match against you? Um, you need some kind of odds. All right. Um, Valentine's Day is coming soon. Um, you used to be a romantic player on the board. Mm -hmm. Are you just as much a romantic person in life as you used to be on the board? Um, I, I, you know, I think uh, as, as time goes by, you kind of realize uh, that you're, you're not young forever. And so you appreciate, I mean, you appreciate things uh, from like a romantic standpoint off the board, certainly. Over the board, I think it's the exact opposite. The more you know, the, the harder it becomes. And also, I think for me, when I used to play very aggressively in a lot of these offbeat openings, um, that's sort of before computers had figured everything out uh, the way that they have now. So I think I was also just automatically forced to play play differently. I mean, even someone like Alexei Shirov, who I think probably has played some of the greatest attacking games, some of the rom a lot of romantic openings. Um, even he seems to be playing a lot of dry openings these days too. So I think chess has also changed a lot. But uh, I mean, away from the board, of course, I'm a hopeless romantic. So I mean, life life is good. What is the hardest thing uh, for someone to be in a relationship with a professional chess player? Um, well, I'm glad I'm not a professional chess player anymore because I think the, the worst part is you, you have to travel all the time and that sucks. Um, I, I think for myself when I look back over the years just having to travel you know, six, seven months a year at least, 200 plus days, um, which of course works out to more than, more than seven months. but. Um, when, when you just look at that, it's, uh, it's very tough, obviously, um, because there's a lot of separation. So I think that's the worst part about being a pro chess player. And, and nowadays, I like being at home, so I'm, I'm happy. The final question for today, who do you think is the best uh, banter person, trash talker in chess? I mean, I think Sash is obviously up there. Daniil has his moments. Um, I think Sash is number one, though, by, by uh, quite a margin. All right. Thank you, and good luck for tomorrow. Sure. Thanks. Thank you.